Okay, this is our my third video this morning. We just walked 600 feet. From there to that column I just walked from is 600 feet. 600 feet of open, unrestricted access easement onto the golf course for the general public in Buckeye. And there isn't one sign, that whole 600 feet, there's not one no trespassing sign. There's not one private property sign. What that is, what do you think somebody thinks when they're walking down and they see this green belt? They see water and green. It sucks them in like a, a moth to the flame. It sucks them in like a moth to the flame. Okay? But this video I'm going to start. When they started LGI, LGI had a similar run on Sundance Parkway on the other side, about a two miles from here on the other side where LGI was selling. The first thing LGI did, and it only took them about two weeks, was to put a wall from there to where I just came from. They just enclosed it, put a wall up for security. Nobody can walk in there. Now, here's my concerns about the letter that Craig, Craig sent me, Craig Hustis sent me. He said, people are being burglarized from the golf course. And here's the perfect situation. It couldn't be more perfect for a burglar than what they have here. I just came in a truck path from Sundance Parkway, unrestricted, no gate. No wall, no fence, nothing. Just was able to drive right in here with my golf cart, or I can drive in with my golf cart, or I can drive in with a pickup truck. All right. And I live just over there. How hard would it be? And I want to let you know. There's only about three along this whole strip in the summer. There's only about three or four residents out of a, a dozen homes on the lake. Only three are occupied during the summer. Only three are occupied. The rest are snowbirds. Nobody's home. So, you got this pickup truck. It's dark. It's night. They're in here, they're quiet. They haven't had to, they haven't had to challenge anything for security. They haven't had to challenge a fence, a wall, or anything. All they had to do was drive in. I tried to voice those concerns in an architectural meeting with David Stump, and David Stump refused to listen to me. He refused to listen to me. Here's another scar that they're not going to fill in. Okay? And I want to let this know for the people who, who run the golf shop. That crevice over there that I'm complaining about at the 6T, I saw, I saw somebody take one of your... I saw one of your golf carts being driven by a golfer the other day. He hit that ditch at a... 90 degree angle just to see if he could jump it. Honest to God, he did it just to see if he could make it over the ditch. He got that thing going and he hit that ditch. It's a wonder he didn't tear the bottom of the golf cart out. It's a wonder he didn't tear the bottom of the golf cart out. But here, like I said, how many yards is that? 200 yards to the street? With unlimited access, you can just drive up. There's no wall, there's no anything. And then, day in, day out, day in, day, day out, not only have I got to worry about that at night, but day in, day out, I got to deal with unguided missiles coming into my airspace. My airspace, if I take the camera and go up to the height of my, uh, uh, say the peak of my roof right there. This is my airspace. This is my living space. My living space consists of, I have two houses. You see that bush out on the street? 
on the left side of that bush is a property line and this bush okay my airspace goes up to the roof same on the other side I got two houses I go down to the end of the other one up there is a the problem with my airspace I can't relax in it as long as there's somebody on the tee box I can't relax if somebody comes to visit and they want to sit out here and read on the patio the first thing I have to do is always be cognizant of that tee box always look up once in a while to see if anybody's around if anybody's around it stop reading until they hit their ball and go by and keep your eye on the next group coming up I have to tell them it's a reality it's a reality on a day where you say it sell 250 uh, during the height of the season you sell it sell 250 greens fees 250 greens fees for this tee boxes right here means 500 tee shots 500 tee shots out of, out of 250 golfers why because they can't get it over the lake why because about 200 of those 250 are mediocre first time unskilled they don't know how to play golf they're out there flailing away so I've got 200 of those golfers 50 golfers that I'll actually know possibly what they're doing you can count on them keeping it in play the other 200 you don't know where it's going and the other 200 hit about two or three balls a piece and it does it happens And this is how my heart, my my lot is burdened. And to, to tell me that you bought a house on a golf course, this isn't a golf course. Back home, we call these golf courses ham and eggers. Verado, that's a golf course. Australia Mountain Lakes up there, where the new houses are, that's a golf course. Tuscany Falls, that's a golf course. Granite Falls, or Granite Falls up in it, there, those are golf courses. This is a shooting gallery. Living here is like being at a 24-7 hockey game, and they didn't put up the glass shield in front of you. You're in the front row of a 24-7 hockey game, and for this game, they took out that glass shield that stops hockey pucks. I sit here day in, day out, and when I watch, Four young men go onto that tee box. Why does that tee box have to be there? You couldn't get it any closer to my property line than there. Why don't you put it over there? Why don't you put it over there? You don't put it over there because all these old codgers in your men's club plan on running the ball down the sidewalk. That's the way they play the hole. When I watch Clark, uh, Ward Clark set up for a hole, he's aiming right at my patio. Right at my patio. I go, Jesus Christ, if he, hits a, if he was a kid the way he was aiming, he's going to take out a window. But that's the way he plays the hole. He's aiming for this bank. He's hoping to ride this bank until it can get past this. That right there is all drop off. Anything that's hit short up to that seat right there goes down into the water. So the strategy of the old codgers is, let's run it down the sidewalk. Well, they miss trying to run it down the sidewalk, they're in my yard. And every ball that comes in my yard gives a golfer do, uh, probable cause to walk in my yard. Probable cause to walk in my yard. And they do. As far as I'm concerned, you've got golfing morons. Out here not only is the management a bunch of morons because they won't recognize this or they act like it doesn't exist oh you bought a house on a golf course I'm trying to get across to you day in day out on a day where you say sells 250 rounds my house is one of them is gonna get hit at least I'm gonna have probably five or six balls in my yard chased by golfers day in day out during the season and all I do is get harassment, everything I try to do. My equity's been gutted. You've seen now two or three videos of what happened over there at track day. When they did that to track day, they gutted my, my they took all my equity and gave it to the best gurnas. 
and I'm going to prove it on paper.